We couldn't do my anything. Son. I want to see my son. Aiden. My twin. Leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. I could live, or I could die. I could go join the info world, or I can go back. I think I'm gonna go back. Other side. Another world. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. I've loved I picked the wrong side to start with. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. I don't think it's time yet, Jody. You still got quite a bit to learn. You're in your early 20s. You've got this. I guess technically you could still die in through that, but yeah. A lot wider than I thought. Jody, we made it. Aiden?
for the ending guys let's see how our choices have added up mm, cute cabin Ever since the black sun was destroyed my memory has been disintegrating I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything. These pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments. Now that they know it's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. As long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Is that Cole? Yay! Cole survived. Guys. Cole's alive. I did it.
It makes me happy. Months with nothing passing by. When I woke up, I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. I'm going with Ryan. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I love Ryan. I've been alone and sad for so long. I, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have dropped those groceries. That was probably my favorite ending. I like the, the Zoe and Tuesday one too. We I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. Some really nice hand. <laughs> I hope you've at least gone swimming. That's a beautiful fucking beach. I'm ruining the mood. It's really sweet of Aiden. But seriously, that is the most beautiful fucking beach I have ever seen. I see things at night. Terrible. 
terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. That was pretty awesome. Next also, that, that'd be a great oh, teaser for the next game. Oh and so gonna not watch all of these. We'll Apparently, I gotta watch all of these. Well, I'm gonna stop the stream here just for the fact that I don't know how copyrighted this music is. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoy, guys. See ya.